Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. Uh, this morning we are going to compare two uh, distribution tools. Okay, one from Gnome Core. So and another one from San Anthony Industry. I'm very excited about this video. Uh, doing the live streaming with you guys because over the years, I mean, the San Anthony Industry come up with a very premium, okay, premium distribution tool. This is not cheap, okay, it's about $160, okay, uh, from San Anthony Industry website. $160, guys. It is a little pricey. Actually, it's a lot of money. So this one is Gnomecore, just came out uh, recently. Same size. Uh, th this is only about 40 bucks. 160 and 40 bucks. And not only that, somehow, uh, so Gnome Core actually come up with a 53, it's not a regular 53 millimeter because uh, if you are watching my channel, most likely you have 53 millimeter. Hold on, maybe I can find it. Here we go. So this is my original tools from Amazon. This is regular 53 millimeter. It has a different uh, design there. So this is more like, kind of like OCD, the owner coffee distribution, the Inspire. So they're inspired by this design, their design. So, so this is only about 15, 20 bucks. Okay, so this is a 53 millimeter. Okay. So obviously this is 54 millimeter port filter. I, uh, you cannot get a 54 because it's gonna be way too tight. So this is a 53 millimeter. Works really good. I've been using it for a long time. Hopefully you guys can hear it. it kind of like wiggles because that the space. So San Anthony Industry come up with this design. It's, it's called wedge design. And uh, so this is kind of like a completely different design. So this designed by a gentleman from Korea. And then they contract with, they work with the San Anthony industry to uh, distribute and design this. So this is a 53.3 millimeter, okay. And you're not gonna he hear that wiggle as, uh, as much, okay. So this is the San Anthony. So this is the one from Amazon. Okay, hope you guys can hear that. So this is a 53.3 millimeter. Amazing tool, okay, I love it. And uh, so obviously this is a wear design, wear build, pretty heavy as well, okay? Pretty heavy, let's weight this scale. 468 gram, okay? 468 gram, pretty heavy. So now, take a look at the distribution from Gnome Core. Wedge design, okay? Very similar to San Antonio industry as well, the wedge design and also 53.3 millimeter. Yeah, you know what? Even though it's a 53.3, I don't know how accurate they are. You guys hear the sound? Okay, versus San Antonio industry. Yeah, not as much. So, so here's what we're gonna do. Since we have a two bottomless portal filter, that we are going to compare back to back. So I'm going to prepare two, uh, one with San Anthony and one with uh, Gnome Core. And I have the same basket as well. And then let's pull the shot. Let's find out, okay. Is there any difference in the shot quality? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do uh, directly uh, uh, those to my portal filter. I'm going to shake it. And then maybe, maybe a little bit of WDT perhaps. Okay, maybe I might do that. I'm gonna do both, a little bit of WDT as well. And because the built-in grinder is, you know, it can be, it's not as good as a standalone grinder, so yeah. So we're gonna do it and then pull those shot. Hopefully we can tell the difference between two shots. We'll see, okay, let's find out, okay, let's find out. But if you're uh, joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, okay? We go live pretty much every morning, so we should have some fun here. All right, so I'm gonna start with, uh, uh, pretty much I'm gonna uh, prepare the puck, okay? I'm gonna prepare the puck, and hopefully you guys can see it. 
There we go. Zoom in a little bit. That's it. All right. So obviously everything is all cold. Okay. I'm just going to heat up my portal filter. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to start with start with the norm core. I already pre measured 18 gram, so. Again, you see that a lot of clumps inside. So this is gnome core. I'm gonna be, you know, let's use my homemade WDT tools. Okay, just a wine cork and some acupuncture needle here. I'm just gonna go declump it. Nice and easy. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to, looks pretty good there, isn't it? It's not too bad. Okay, so this is norm core. All right. Edge to edge, not bad. Uh, for the consistent base, I'm just gonna use the San Antonio industry, the uh, levy temper. So we're gonna have an identical, uh, I'm identically a prepared puck, except the distribution tool. Okay. So this is for norm core. Let's work on the San Anthony. Just gonna heat it up. All right, second one here. Do the WDT like last time. It's nice and easy. You don't want to disrupt the uh, espresso inside the grind. It's nice and easy there. It okay, looks pretty good as well. Just gonna do some. Pretty clean too. I mean, they're both great so far. Okay. So, San Anthony Industry and Gnome Core. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. If everything is, hold on. Here we go. But since they're identical size, 53.3 millimeter both, and the, if I did a WDT technique properly, and you are going to see pretty much identical shot quality, okay? Identical shot quality. Uh, if he doesn't, it's on me, which means I messed up with WDT. But I'm gonna start with Gnome Core first. Uh, let's do 18, I'm going to stop at 40 gram, okay, I'm going to 40 gram shot here. Got my little flashlight on there. All right, guys, I'm going to move the camera. Here we go. So this is Normcore distribution tool. All right, let's take a look. I'm gonna shoot for 40 gram shot.
Okay, a little, a little bit of channeling to the side. Eventually uh, come together as one. Come on, there we go. I'm going to be stopping at 40 gram. I mean, overall shots looks very nice. Okay, no channeling there. Okay, 40.7 gram. Okay, so let's move on to. You know what? I don't think I can do it in one hand. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna take this one out. It's still wet as well. Still wet puck, but a bit. So let's do the second shot. So this, I'm, I'm just gonna flush it first. Okay. All right. Just gonna flush. So now, San Anthony Nishri. Okay. The moment of truth. So you got you figure what forty dollar versus one hundred and sixty dollars. Okay. All right. Here we go. Another one. There we go. Reset. Here we go. They're both really good, no channeling. I mean, it looks very nice. Okay. In the end, you got a little dance run, but you know, it's not too bad. So this is the first shot from San Antonio Industry. I mean, that's, man, you know what? Let's try something, okay? Let's uh, taste. Mo most likely it's gonna be the same taste, but, I mean, I don't think it's not gonna make any difference in taste, but you know what, I'm curious. I'm just gonna start with Nomcore first. Okay. Uh, I'm still using coffee from Bozelle. So far, you know, this is fantastic for milk-based drink and, you know, very, you know, kind of like classic Italian style. Yeah, very dark chocolate. It's pretty good. I mean, if you guys like that. I feel personally, I like the, the lighter note. So this is one from San Anthony Industry. There you go. Cheers, guys. I like this one better. Okay, not, not because uh, it's come from San Antonio industry. Because, though here's the thing about the machine. Uh, the first shot, uh, what, so I just turned uh, turn on this machine earlier, so. And I feel like the second shot give you more, uh, more the hot water. Okay, I mean, even, because the initial shot, so even though I did the dummy shot and the pull the shot, so this is like four shot after. So the water temperature is even higher because it's the, even warmed up inside. So even though it has a PID on it, but I feel like the second shot has a, you know, better extraction, but it's not because of tools. Okay. As you saw on the video, uh, you know what, if you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to timestamp this. Okay. I'm going to timestamp the, shot from gnome core and shot from so you don't have to skip through i'm just gonna go right there so i'm gonna time stamp it uh, looking at the shot they're both really good okay as you saw just a little bit of wdt on both there's no sprung anywhere it's not any you know the shot wasn't splash anywhere so i mean both shot was pretty clean shot okay i'm uh comes to doing the job Okay, it comes to doing the job, 
both of them does extremely well. 53.3 millimeter. Finally, you know, um, this company, you know, come up with it because most times you always you're going to get the 53, but I'm glad no one come up with it. kind of like budget friendly tools. I mean, it's not special. Okay. It's not special, but right size, you know, matte black. I mean, it looks pretty good as well. So just like this one from Amazon, but so this is again, 53, 53.3 it's a more precise give you more precision distribution let's see here i'm just gonna look at the puck okay i'm just gonna take a look at some puck here i'm curious about that as well okay so here's a norm core puck okay does pretty good job this is the puck from san anthony Yep. Pretty clean. I mean, both. I mean, feel like were extracted. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking for budget friendly uh, precision distribution tool, uh, look for 53.3 millimeter. Okay. It could be Gnome Core. I'm, I'm using Gnome Core right now. If you go to Amazon, I got quite a few different brands as well. So, but if you guys are looking for something premium, okay, something premium, something fancy, you know, something really a well built, a San Anthony is, you know, by far, is, you know, that's the best, I mean, that's the best product out there. Okay, it um, comes to aesthetic, beer quality, fantastic, you know, really fun to use. But, you know, just, just like, just like driving a car, right? I mean, I, I used to drive Corolla for years. Get me there point A to point B with air condition. You know, that car cost me what? A couple of grand. You could get a fancy cars for what? 50, $60,000. Still gonna get you there point A to point B. But I, obviously, you know, you're buying for the, you know, style and the comfort. But again, I mean, it's both pretty good. Comes to shot quality, about the same. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'm going to take a look at the, uh, your live chat here. Let's see here. Let's take a look. What you guys have to say this morning. You got Chuck is on, or they got Jonathan. We got, oh, you got the Justin's on. The Rock. Okay, got Chris. Okay, so Chris just bought a San Anthony block party. I'm not impressed by the size of the knockbox. Okay. Let's talk about the the knockbox from San Anthony Industry. I, I don't know why. Okay, they the San Anthony Industry advertises as a knockbox. Because this is not, I, I don't use it as knockbox. I use it as the catching the, uh, the grinds, okay? The catching the grinds. If this is knockbox, this is pretty lame knockbox. Because I like to use it as just a station, temping station. So I have a separate knockbox. And I used to use my trash can, but you know, I have a you know, little knockbox for the side. So yes. Uh, uh, let's see here you got Chris yeah so Chris if you are uh, looking for knockbox you, I mean I'm yeah again if you're using as a knockbox this is pretty lame but if you're using as temping station they are fantastic all right so let's take a look let's see here we have a uh, Florian we got the rubber okay man Flo wait ro uh, rubber say Pro is went to repair. Uh, sorry to hear that, buddy. You got the Jonathan. Jonathan is uh, come from Tel Aviv. Goodness. Far from Arizona. Yep, shout out to Chris from Scotland, UK. All right, well, so we got hashtags on. And the hashtags that this person tool doesn't make any difference whichever brand you use. 
you know what? Uh, that the fact is, doesn't matter because as long as they're like precision, like 53.3 millimeter, doesn't matter if you buy San Anthony versus even Normco or doesn't matter like Amazon brand. I mean, they're the same, okay? Unless the design that I mean, the design is a little off on their wage tour, but I mean, mo most times, you know, I mean, that's distribution tools too, okay? I mean, it comes to uh, shot quality, you're not going to see a lot of difference there. You're going to see a tiny bit difference, uh, difference bet uh, between from 53 versus 53.3 millimeter, but other than that, no. We got the Le Mans from Bursto, UK. Yeah, John say use a knock, knock box now trash can now trash can. You know you know what? I mean, it comes to okay. So knock box. I mean, I use this a lot. Okay, it's about what twenty bucks. Matching, Bravo, but yeah, uh, Chris, do, do not use this one as your knock box. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know why. Yeah, but I mean, this is a good temping station. That's about it. <clears throat> Let's see here. So again, so if you are just joining us, we just compare the Gnomecore distribution tool versus the San Anthony, all right? Only thing difference is the design. Not, the, not, even, not even design. The design is about the same. I mean, obviously, Gnomecore uh, inspired by the wedge wedge two, you know, they come up with their own, but yeah. So again, uh, you are buying for the beer quality and craftsmanship. I mean, just, just look at it, okay? Uh, you, are, you are buying for the look and feel, all right? But if you are one of those person that don't care about the looks, you just want to get to point A to point B, uh, stick with, you know, Amazon tools, okay? Even Gnomecore is just fine. Yeah, so I mean, you, you don't need to get a fancy tools for it. But if you are, if you're one of those person that really care about the aesthetic of your coffee bar, sure, okay, maybe, maybe check it out. Okay, check out the San Anthony industry. Let's see here. I'm just gonna look at the one last time for your comments and see. Hold on. All right. Okay, Jonathan say, I want a Christmas candy knockbox. Okay. Hashtag say, that's San Anthony box. It's not a, yeah, it's not for knockbox. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's called block parties. Yeah, I mean, I know some, actually, I saw someone use uh, the block party, uh, the block as a knockbox. I just don't get it. But, you know, but as a good tamping station, I think that's made for tamping station. Because you can only put about what, maybe like two, three puck at the most. Yeah, I mean, Chris, if you are using it right now, yeah, stop doing it. Just, you know, use your trash can for that. Just use it as, you know, catching your leftover, you know, grinds there. It's pretty good for that. All right, I think we are, okay. I think we are pretty good this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Block party, hold on, day. Hold on a second. Uh, ha hashtag has one last comment. If a prepare used for, for the block as knockbox, they are done. Okay. Big shout out to hashtag. <coughs> anyway, uh, let's see, I think we are at uh, some point. Okay, I need to compare my uh, Eureka Minyang Zero. Okay, got big comparison coming up. I gotta do that sometime this week. Okay, I I I'd love to share that with you. Let's compare that with even DF64 and even niche grinder. It should be pretty fun. Okay, pretty fun because I cannot wait for I cannot wait for the, the price they're going to announce this because I have no idea. Because if you're in your Europe, you can get this one for around like 350 pound, which means around 400 dollars there. I hope not around five. Okay. Because they are going to launch uh, sometime the uh, next couple of months. I, I heard that June, they're going to start selling this uh, Minion Zero okay, sometime in June. But I hope under, 
around 450 at the most because once you start go to five or six hundred dollars man you have a lot of options a lot of options for that so i'm, I'm hoping around 400 dollar range okay that definitely worth again once you go up to like five or six man it's gonna be tough all right so let's see here yep uh garan is excited about the minion zero comparison hold on a second we have a jk mentioning. hold on i need to take a look at this one okay he said jk asked me do you ever or do you uh did you test the bravo temple yeah i did okay uh jk i have a video on that as well on my channel so yeah i have a bravo temper I mean, the Bravo temper is one of those temper, you know, same as the, you know, any other high-end temper. It does a great job, but, you know, it is pricey. But you are buying for looks, okay? You are buying for look and feel most times, especially now. Goodness. Uh, if you go to Amazon, you can get a really budget-friendly 50, even like 58.5 millimeter out there for budget-friendly. Uh, there used to be only a couple of company makes those high-end tools, but now everybody makes it. Okay, if you go to Amazon, man, they got full of it. 58.5, five millimeter is now. Sometimes 58.3 uh, 58 millimeter. Uh, 58 millimeter is it's not there. You know, it's not as much. But if again, if you are buying something, go for the like more precise, okay, more precision tools. They're uh, inexpensive. They used to be 150 bucks. If you go to Amazon, you can get one for around 50 bucks or so. Half the cost, sometimes a third of the cost. So yeah. So anyway, uh, let's see. I think we are done for the morning. And I'll be back. Uh, we're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna make some coffee at the, my uh, my shop there. So yeah, we haven't done that in a while. You know, it's been a few days. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning. And then see you guys uh, in about a couple of hours, maybe tomorrow.